Before this video starts, if you guys actually care about me and also care about Minecraft content, make sure to subscribe to my second YouTube channel. Of course, I won't just be posting strictly Minecraft here. There'll be other games as well. But I mean, yeah, if you want to just watch even just other games, things besides Fortnite content, yeah, make sure to subscribe to my second channel. I'm going to be posting a variety of stuff over here, maybe even IRL videos. Who knows? Let's try and get it to a thousand subscribers. I know we can do that. We're on like 400 right now. I'll link the channel at the top of the description. Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Fetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about whether or not you guys should be using Confirm Edit on Release within Fortnite Season 5. Now, the reason I'm making this video, I had a ton of comments. Like, this was very much highly suggested from you guys. Like, you really want to see this for some reason. And honestly, although the answer is actually more simple than you probably think, it's also probably the complete opposite of what you think I'm going to say here. But, you know, we are going to get straight into this. But before we do so, if you do go ahead and enjoy this video in any way, shape, or form, the least I ask from you guys if you drop a like for me subscribe to the channel post notifications turned on therefore you never miss an upload just like this you know it literally takes two seconds it's completely free and you can always unsubscribe later down the line if you no longer enjoy my content just please give me that chance you know we are trying to hit 100k before my birthday which is literally in about four weeks but I think we can do it so getting straight into this right here what I want to say just right off the bat we are just literally gonna dive straight into things here and what I need to point out is that at the end of the day no matter what I mentioned in this video more Morally, it is your choice what you use, whether you want to have confirm edit on release turned on, whether you want to have it off, that is all your choice. What I say in this video is only to guide you, right? It's only to help aid your opinion in a sense and yeah, just guide you in the right direction and tell you at least what I think, at least I guess for the advantage in most senses, is the best to be using. And without, you know, beating around the bush any more than we need to, to be straightforward with you guys, I personally do believe that having it turned off so no confirm edit on release is actually the best and is actually the meta, you know? It's the best thing to be doing you don't want to turn on because they are disadvantages let me explain so getting straight into this here the first disadvantage of using confirm edit on release so literally having it turned on right here the issue of that and a big disadvantage is that when you're in maybe a box fight or i don't know where it is let's say a box fight in this case you know maybe you're boxed here you manage to take this wall you know someone is here right this is their wall your opponent's wall you manage to take the wall now there's a few things you could do here right you could do your basic right hand peek you know try and get a nice shot but even that is going to be an issue with confirm edit on release we will talk a little bit about that later in the video but you know these edits they're kind of predictable you know your opponent's probably going to be waiting on an edit like this maybe a window edit what you want to be doing is preferably doing something to confuse them so something i like to do is this probably isn't an issue for most of you right now but it probably will be when you realize how op this really is to do because this can really throw off your opponent basically what i'll do is i'll usually edit a door like this and when my enemy comes like, almost near the door so it auto opens because a lot of people are using auto open doors so when they come close to the door they're a bit curious to like okay well this guy's a door um what do i do in this situation there on this side bear in mind they're probably thinking okay do i open the door or bear in mind they're probably gonna open the door anyway just because they're auto open doors so it's just gonna naturally open i'm not pressing it here i'm gonna walk to the door it's gonna open right when they fall into this bait and they get a little open animation with a hand that is going to disable them from shooting you at this point what you want to do is let's say you've made the edit you want to be holding this right here so literally just holding this window tile right here and the second the door opens edit the window and then you've got a free angle or a free peek to get a shot because remember at this point on the door animation they're panicking they're also not going to expect this edit out of all the edits in the book you're going to go like this you've got an open shot the door is still there in that way and you can shoot them you're going to probably catch them off guard here this is super op you know like literally just like this bang shoot them it's the last edit they're going to expect but you know this just isn't possible with confirm edit on release because you can't choose when you want to confirm the edit and you don't have flexibility like if you want to select this tile you, you simply can't do it right you're at this point if i let go of holding down my mouse so i'm clicking you know holding down my mouse button right now if i let go it's just going to confirm because you're releasing your mouse you're releasing what you're holding right if i release i can't go over here i'm gonna have to make a separate edit and then i release again it's just gonna edit for me i have no control over it if i go like this like it's so confusing and like there's no flexibility to this like I can edit this and I can like maybe try and hold this. It just puts me in a predicament. It isn't as effective and then I can maybe edit. But again, it's like super ineffective. And it's a big issue. You can't even do this and like drag over and select the window because you can't let go. Because if you let go, it's just going to do this. There's very little you can do to confuse your opponents and make advanced edits or like more calculated and off point edits when you're using confirm edit on release. And that's why it's a big issue. It's more one of them as well that you do want to try yourself. Like trust me, try and do this little uh, door edit thing with confirm edit on release and then turn it off and try it then. So I'm 
a ton of off here. I have control. I can like let go, let go of my mouse, let go of clicking, and then click here. And there's just so much more control. I can go like this. I can then wait on this. I can just take my hands off the mouse, and it's not going to confirm when I've released it because it's off. I don't know. I just do feel like this is really effective, and you should probably consider this. Also, another big disadvantage with confirm meta release, it kind of relates. Same situation, maybe you're in a box fight. Let's say we're in the same situation here, like completely, like someone is here. I'm here. I take that wall. Now let's say I am to do a right and peak. It doesn't have to be a right and peak, but in this case, a right and peak is probably your go-to edit. With edit on release turned off, you can actually make this edit and perfect your crosshair placement when doing so. So what you can do is you can select the edit, come up. You know, you can select your edit, you know, not confirm it yet. Look for exactly where your opponent is, you know, aim at your crosshair placement, exactly where you need it to be to hit your opponent when you know when you put your gun out, when you confirm, you then confirm it, and then your crosshair is going to be where it needs to be to then jump and take your shot. But the issue with this, you know, if you have confirm edit on release on, you can't do that, right? It just simply does not work because you always have to be holding and clicking down your mouse like right now I'm holding I'm clicking down my mouse to actually make sure this edit will stay if I let go it's gonna release out or it's just gonna confirm the edit so if I'm to come close right here what you have to do when right and peeking is literally come right into the corner and hold it like this right because if you go anywhere else because you're holding it down you can't let go because it will just confirm it it's going to then select all these other things here so if I'm to do how I'd usually do it like this by the time I'm jumping, it's just selecting this, and that's not even an edit. Like, it just selects the wrong tile, and then it completely ruins the edit. I can't do it. Simply look. It does not work. You have to like almost be looking directly at this tile just so you can actually make the edit and then you have to confirm it. Then you have to look where your player is and then aim up your crosshair. Like you don't have time to aim up your crosshair before editing to then hit the perfect shot. You waste a few valuable seconds here where your opponent now can just wait for you and then you have to actually you know, aim up your shot, jump, and then they're probably gonna predict it. Like you can't do it as fast. You have to go like this. Then you have to confirm. Then you have to aim your crosshair. Where again, you know, if I'm not to use confirm edit on release, what I can do is select this edit, let go of my mouse. Don't have to be clicking anything nothing else is now going to select i can aim at my crosshair then confirm jump and take a nice calculated shot but yeah guys to kind of actually almost conclude this right here and wrap it up what i'm trying to say is they are i believe more disadvantages to using confirm edit on release of course you've got the no-brainers of course if you use edit on release your edits can be faster because you don't have to confirm them yourself they just in some sense are automatically confirming when you're releasing your mouse which is of course easier to do than to have to press your actual edit button again just to confirm them i understand that you can have faster editing with confirm edit on release but to have it turned off it also doesn't completely roll you out you know you then get them benefit of being able to box fight better get better right hand peaks and improve your crosshair placement and also not using confirm edit on release it doesn't necessarily mean you can't be a fast editor think of players like clicks bro clicks is insanely fast and he doesn't use confirm edit on release even mongrel benji fishy at this moment of time neither of those pro players are using edit on release if that alone doesn't say something i don't know what does but yeah guys you know at the end of the day it is morally your decision for me personally i don't use it a lot of pro players actually do not use it and yeah it isn't the be all or end all of things if you're not to use it you can still be a fast editor of course it may be a little bit harder to get used to almost or get as fast mechanics faster because obviously it's going to take a lot more time to improve your mechanics if you have to remember to confirm them edits manually but then again you kind of should be used to it you gotta remember fortnite never used to have confirm edit on release in the game like that mechanic was not in the game at all like this feature never used to be a thing and you know before it was a thing people were still insanely fast at editing. There were literally people deemed as the fastest editors in the game. You can be fast without it. That's all I'm trying to get out here. And you know, although it's your decision, I do genuinely believe to have it turned off in the long run will give you the best advantage. Like not only just in competitive, but across the board. But don't be shy. Let me know in the comments. Are you actually using confirm edit on release at this moment in time? Is this video going to, you know, maybe change your mind? Are you now maybe going to turn it off? I actually want to know. So let me know in the comments what you're going to end up using. And yeah, that does wrap up the video here. I hope this video could help. I also hope everyone has an amazing day. It's been a way fetch. And yeah, peace.